trying to get to that. I wanted to replace the ball joint. Because I'm trying to get rid of that squeaky sound. At the same time, I found the boot on the on the axle messed up. So I figured, what the heck, you know, might as well just change it. So basically, quick recap. Disconnect is an easy one, right? You come, you take bottom bolt, tie rod, top ball joint bolt, uh, disconnect the shock, the, the, the shackle thingy, boom, boom. I think that's a 15, no, that's a 14, this is a 17. Then you just, you hit it with a hammer, you tap it right here on the other side, like right here. That will come out. I have some grease ready so you can grease it all up. Um, then the axle, obviously, I went from the bottom and uh, kind of like right where the, it meets with the tranny and uh i just pretty much just stuck stuck that in there and just wedged it out it came out pretty easy um so that was good so now basically the process again you get yourself one of these kits they cheap i tapped it out with the hammer but when you tap it with the hammer sometimes this becomes like a little worn out so you definitely want to use the kit. Putting it back in, I'm not tapping it because I don't want to damage the new one. But I'm going to use the kit. All right, so basically, very important trick, right? So that little clamp that's on the edge right there, pretty much. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. So that goes in perfectly. You wanna dip it in there real quick. And when you when you put it in there, I don't know, for some reason, it just slides right in, like smooth. So that always worked for me. Wanted to share that. I'm trying to get a good view. There you go. Bang. She went in nice and smooth. I'm trying to get a, didn't even have to, I didn't even hit it with a hammer. Just with the hand, it clicked right in. I mean, it was actually very simple. I wouldn't pull on it, because if you pull on it, you could separate the joints. Just put it in, set it in where you feel like the teeth is catching. You turn it back and forth, you know, like so. You turn it back and forth, make sure you catch it, and then you just then you just pop it in there. All right, so wrapped it up. Obviously, you can see. Torque the axle nut. Um, used the tool for the ball joint. It went in pretty good. I checked it a couple times. Um, yeah, I'm happy. I'm trying to get the car ready before the snow. It's supposed to snow in Pennsylvania. On Sunday about half a foot so just wanted to get the car ready